you guys long time to see. Uh, it's been a while. Remember I was editing vlogs and then uh, I was supposed to do part two of my Lucky 88 show? Well, I never did it because I got busy and uh, my priorities are on Twitch. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oops. Also, my hair is kind of a mess today, so if I fix it a lot, it's because it's bothering me. So, I haven't been vlogging, obviously, and I really wanted to do like studio vlogs, and I still will, because I still want to finish my Lucky 88 ones and my Capsule Corner ones, but I also recently got back into Lolita fashion, so I recently bought a bunch of things and I wanted to do a haul with you guys. And if I look like a mess, it's because I'm really tired. <laughs> so what had happened was I already recorded for a good chunk, like maybe two hours. Oh. So what happened was I was recording and as I was finishing up my unboxing, I realized that the sound was getting picked up from the camera, so it's a little static, and <laughs> so I'm redoing this intro, I, I guess, but I think instead of redoing everything, I'm just going to do a voiceover, because <laughs> I'm tired as heck, and I don't want to refilm everything and talk about it again, because talking takes a lot of energy. I guess I meant talking in that moment because I was so tired because I'm talking about it again right now while I'm making this video. So I had gotten a few packages the week prior to filming this, but I was sick that I didn't want to open anything because I didn't want to get them dirty. So the packages kind of piled on by the time I was able to film. Well, one of the orders of non Lolita. But I did buy some pieces to go with Lolita, like a cardigan, uh, but anyways. One of the main packages is from my Lolita dress, which is a Taobao reseller, and it was the first time I used them. And the other package is from AP San Francisco. So first off, I was pretty impressed with how they packaged everything. I like that all the smaller pieces, like accessories, were in their own bag together. So I had ordered a few things from my Lolita dress. I had ordered a GSK and ordered the accessories with it. And I also pre-ordered an OP with the barrette that came with it. And also a blouse. So the first thing I looked at were the accessories for the GSK I bought. It's the Shimotsuki Sakuya Whisper of Stars GSK set in taro colorway, which is like a gray lavender. It came with wrist cuffs, a choker, and head bow. I was gushing over the little details. Look how beautiful the choker is. I love the dangling stars and pearls. Next are the wrist cuffs. I love the star lace detailing and I just couldn't get over the gold stamping. Also, I love the little star charm. Also, the choker had a little star charm on the chain as well. And the head bow has little star charms and I love it when head bows have those dangly charms on the end. So I noticed a paper with a GSK and I thought it was like a giant tag or something, but I was surprised to find that it was a free gift. It's a print of an illustration of the dress and also a pair of clip-on earrings. I have pierced ears though, so I might um, modify them. So the dress itself is gorgeous and I love it. I love the bodice and just, I just love the star details all over this dress. It's very star packed. From the buttons on the front to the waist ties to the star lacing, it's all very cute. The bow at the top of the bodice is removable and it feels a little plasticky toy like, but if you don't like it, you can remove it, but I think it's cute. The bow on the waist is also removable, uh, but the bows by the tiers aren't though. There's full shirring in the back, 
The straps are adjustable. The waist ties are removable and they have these really cute star buttons. Oh, and also this dress has pockets. This dress is a tear dress and it's not one of those dresses where it's just one layer and there's a appearance of a tear sewn on it. You can actually lift up the layers of this dress. There's also a small built-in putty at the edge of the bottom tier. And the dress is also fully lined and it's made out of chiffon and it's just really pretty. I, I still can't get over how the gold looks against the chiffon. I'm very happy with this dress. It's very beautiful and I like it so much that I want to go back and get another colorway eventually. The next thing I got was on pre-order is the Deer in Forest OP by Cheese Coco. And I got the matching barrette to go with it. This dress is very heavy and it definitely is for fall and winter. Uh, the materials like jacquard or, or something. How, how are you say it? Jacquard. But yeah, I did buy this dress with that in mind because it is a very fall print in general. I'm a sucker for Peter Pan colors, but I'm also generally drawn to this style of bodice on dresses. I think it's just really cute. So that was one of the things that drew me to this dress. The back has some waist ties that aren't removable. And there's an invisible zipper in the back. I wish the print was more in aligned, but what can you do? Oh yeah, also the, the bubble sleeves are like humongous. If you guys don't know, I love deers, and what drew me to this print was the illustration work. Uh, I just really liked how the deers were illustrated. I'm glad I got it because seeing it in person, I love how painterly it looks. And the print isn't 100% perfect, like most of the deers look like they're floating. And I get it might be a perspective thing that wasn't 100% executed, but I honestly don't hate it. <laughs> I actually joked to myself that this is my levitating deer dress. Uh, there's one deer that is perfectly behind the fence, and there's a bird delivering a letter to him, and I like to imagine he's being invited to into the circle of levitating deers. <laughs> uh, he's in, guys. Anyways, despite like the little imperfections like that, I still, I don't know, it makes me actually really like the dress more because of those little silly quirks. Last thing that I got from my Lolita dress was a black chiffon blouse from Diamond Honey, and the blouse is cute and all, but <laughs> I was I was actually really drawn towards the illustration work on the tag, the logo. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute. I don't know. Uh, I'm an illustrator, so maybe that's why I was like so impressed and staring at it. But yeah, it's a cute cute blouse with a cute tag. <laughs> Anyways, I actually really liked everything that I got. Um, it was the first time I ordered from my Lolita dress, and I'm actually really happy with it. Everything was exactly as I ordered, everything that I wanted, and there were a lot of little details that I missed in the um, Whisper of Star dress that I didn't see in the product product photos, probably because like um, a lot of the pictures are zoomed out of the models wearing it and you don't see really close-up shots, but there's a lot of really tiny details that I really loved about it, like area, like the star lacing, and I don't know, I just, I'm really happy with it that I think I will eventually get the high-waisted version of the black colorway. I was debating also maybe getting the navy in the OP, because I just really love it. It's very pretty. Um, I love the gold. I just I recently fell in love with gold, <laughs> as you guys know, um, from doing Inktober last year. I fell in love with gold ink and then I like gold a lot more now. I used to, I used to be all about silver, but yeah, now I like gold. <laughs> I really want to buy gold shoes as well, so I can make some cords with that. Um, there's another dress that I ordered with Devil Inspired because they were the only ones that had it. Uh, and that she gets me in January, 
So, I'll be back with another haul, I guess. <laughs> so, with my Lolita dress, it actually it was pretty timely. I had a good experience. I've now I've heard like mixed reviews when I was looking for reviews, um, but my first experience was a good experience. They got everything and they sent everything in a very timely manner. And the EMS is really the EMS THL is really affordable. And so you get your products really quickly after they ship. So I forgot what day it shipped, but I ended up getting the package like two days later. So that was really nice. Also, I guess I should mention, it shows how long it'll take an item to be sent in if it's not already in stock. So keep that in mind if you need something in a specific time frame, because I feel that might be where a lot of mixed reviews come from. Um, the only thing is there wasn't really much communication, I guess. Uh, whereas, um, I ordered from another Taobao reseller, Double Inspired, which I should get that package in like a month, but... Um, they sent me email- Double Inspire sent me emails as the order updated, whereas my little address, I actually checked every day on the status. They didn't email me or anything, so I feel like communication is non-existent unless like you're doing um, made-to-order, like customized sizing. But other than that, there was no communication, but they did send everything to, in a timely manner, which I did appreciate. And everything that I ordered was exactly as pictured. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely order from them again. There's actually a few things I wanted from them. I actually kind of pref I kind of really liked to order from them because the shipping was a good price. Because the, well, the only other Tavo reseller I've tried is Devil Inspired, and I don't understand the shipping on that. Because usually it's by weight, but I feel like some things were like very questionable, which I don't like about that. Because like I'll, because I added like a pair of tights, and for some reason the shipping went up like ten dollars. But when I added like something else, like a blouse, it only went up like five dollars or something, which I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> so that's one thing that I liked about my Lolita dress is that you could add a good amount of things and the price wouldn't like fluctuate that much. And even, even sometimes like the DHL EMS would be much cheaper than the like airmail, so it was like a nice option to get the uh, speedier delivery and they probably could have just gone through a shopping service to get it to be honest but I don't know uh, I'm like dipping my toes back into the little fashion and all that and I just didn't want to go into like the craziness of shopping services but yeah I feel like I want to have to eventually though because there are some things that I want that are not on any of the Tawa resellers, so yep. But yeah, I would definitely shop at my Lolita dress again. I had a good experience, and hopefully, the next experiences I have will be good. Bonus mini AP haul. So I've always wanted a gold star bag from AP, and I saw that the US site had it in stock, so I jumped on it, and now I have it. <laughs> um, it's very pretty and I thought it would go well with the, all the main pieces that I ordered that had gold in them. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be which is a good thing. Uh, it could fit a good amount like my phone and various things. I love the little star details on the bag and I feel like this haul has just been very star filled and gold filled <laughs> but I guess that's the theme I suppose. Yeah, I'm dipping my toes back into Lolita fashion, and I guess I happened to just choose main pieces that had gold in them, minus the deer print, but I guess it worked out. So, I guess that's what I'm going to build my wardrobe around at the moment, um, just gold and all that. I also picked up the Dreamcat go-around headbow in lavender because I do want to own the dress eventually, 
in a lot of colors actually <laughs> I got back into the fashion after Halloween, so I missed out on this print um, and I mainly wanted it in the GSK in black and lavender, but those are the most popular, <laughs> so they're all sold out already. But yeah, I'll have to search for them secondhand, but at least I have one of the headbows. <laughs> so the headband, the cat ears are wired, so you can kind of mold them. You can even hide them under if you don't want to use them. I folded by the cat ears because I don't know how I feel about them, but I wanted to try the head bow. Um, the tag is still on and it's shoved down under here too, <laughs> but you know, uh, yeah, it looks a little simple I guess without the cat ears, huh? And here it is with the cat ears. Actually, it kind of does look cute with the cat ears. Also, sorry if this is mismatching. My hair tie like broke off, so it was like the closest thing I could find. But I actually kind of do like the cat ears, but then now I feel like I don't know. <laughs> I'm just reminded of when I was in like middle school and even high school. I would wear cat ears to school because I wanted to be a cat girl. <laughs> and I would have loved this when I was younger, I think, but right now I just feel like. Because I, I guess because it's more like a Halloween print, but like, I don't know, I don't want to cross that border of like costuming. I don't want people to think like Lolita fashion is like costuming <laughs> and thinking I'm dressing up as like a cat girl. I mean like people in the fashion would know like this print and what's going on, but also I don't know how I feel about it. But I feel like if I push the ears back, it looks a little too simple. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I can add like a veil or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I suppose. <laughs> but I like it. It's cute. I love the little cross. I think it's really funny because when I was into... Originally, it, when I was actively wearing the Lita fashion in the past. It was around when the OTT stuff was really popular and I remember like just wanting anything and everything that was cute but like now that I'm a bit older I feel like my taste has been more re has like refined it to like what the person I'm supposed to be I guess. So I know my likes a bit more and I actually kind of like that that whole period when I took a break from Lolita Fashion EP kind of like went towards like a classic cute kind of way and so like when I came back I was like oh hey there's a bunch of things I like I think it's really funny that I came back to like EP getting memed on about like having crosses on everything <laughs> but I actually really like it I don't know why I like motif of crosses because I'm not like very religious or anything but I think it's because I studied fine arts so I had to take art history classes and you were supposed to like when you get into higher division you're supposed to go pick certain periods to study and so I was really into impressionist art and also uh, I studied like medieval to renaissance and all that and like you know bar baroque and rococo stuff so i think maybe that's where my love for like crosses came from because the renaissance and all that's all about like you know art but there's a lot of uh, religious undertones and all that but yeah but yeah i think it's funny that even after taking a break from the little fashion and coming back i I'm still an EP slave. <laughs> I don't know, I think they've always just- EP has always just always been my favorite for Rand. Yeah, uh, I think I'll talk more about my Lolita history and stuff some other time. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. I want to do the little Lolita tag someday. But, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really tired, so I should probably stop talking. This video is probably longer than it should be. Anyways, thank you.
thanks for watching oh yeah of course hey hey what's up youtube uh smash that like and hit that notification bell and follow me and well don't really because i don't really update that often but you could if you wanted to anyways take care stay cute bye